welcome back, my fellow knights. This is your King Willick speaking. I'm going to have a little conversation with you guys. I haven't been posting videos on YouTube recently. Yes, now I moved up from 100, no, 225 subs. I am now at 230 subs. Thank you for subscribing. But we have a dilemma. Two things came across my table, and I'm not too happy about it. Number one, yes, I start out with numbers. I have to have rules. Without rules, I can't pull myself together. So, number one. We have FCC trying to pull the network from out of underneath us. It's not free in the first place, because the one thing that we have to pay for in the expansion of our cable providers is internet. They willingly helped us get networks into our house and home. So we are paying out of pocket to taxes already. So here's a question. Why does the FCC think that it is okay to repeatedly try the same mistake three times. It, it's different no matter how you look at it because the last few times wasn't so easy. I wasn't so popular back then. I'm sure as heck not popular now. Um, I couldn't even get the message out there fast enough to actually help out in order to get this to stop. I've posted two videos about this already, and yet only the four major YouTubers that I know of so far have been heard. My voice, not so much. I'm not worried about that, but it did seem to get the message through that other people were talking about it other than me. And I'm happy for that. In fact, I couldn't be any happier. But the fact that remains is that it's still going on. And I'm trying to figure out a way to make this stop for good. Because no matter how you look at it, FCC's just trying to dig their claws into the network just to get more money and more control. And I can't figure it out either way. And it's, it's digging under my skin. I just, I'm trying to build a community. I've been trying since 2010. And ever since then, it keeps getting harder and harder to even do so. My community means a lot to me as much as everybody else's community to them. And I'm not trying to build an army, I'm trying to build a community that has something to do with freedom of speech, freedom of will, and they're trying to take that away. Now this wouldn't be America if, or I should say without, the freedom of anything. I mean. We have been jumping back and forth from presidents to presidents, and they have been so-called fighting for that sort of thing, in which case this would be a huge step backwards, if you get my drift. And to say the least, it's been dawning on me that it's never enough for them. I mean, yeah, the presidents have some dark secret that they want to hide or something, but that's none of my business. In fact, I wouldn't go as far as out of my way as to say that we were, well, we as in the people are the same way. No, we're not. In fact, it came to an understanding that we're finally getting jobs back. We're finally getting hired to do something. 
as a people, but to the FCC that is still not enough. What you need to understand is the internet came from across the world. It was founded by someone who died so long ago. And that guy had a dream to make the internet a place for learning and a place for fun. Now for us, that means a lot. Because without the internet, we wouldn't have to uh, put a halt on our education. In fact, the internet progressed education even further. Some people that I even knew back in the day used the internet to learn a different language. Some people I knew back in the day used the internet for art, like I do. Some people I knew back in the day used the internet for music. Now, I don't know where the people from the FCC came out from, but trying to dig their nails and claws into something that they don't need to get their hands on is simply not going to happen. Because we as a community are fighting back for our rights of freedom to take a hold of that cause. Second thing I want to talk about is the fact that I have been raging over two things. Number one, two games. Now I've come up across two new partners since my start and I would like to say um, some of us are raging. Uh, we've recently played Dark Souls 3 and two of us did not like it. In fact one of us was laughing at the idea that two of us were in misery. And that one of us was Foul Dragon. I found the most ironic thing in my community right now. That most funny thing is that I have my own Ross O'Donovan. I'm not comparing myself to the Game Grumps. Let's just make that clear right now. I just find it funny that I have my own version of Ross laughing at us for misery. <laughs> he was like saying all this stuff about how we didn't even last 10 minutes into a video or a stream because of some dark spirit invading our game while we're trying to progress through on air or in recording and it's like funny to him that he bought this game for the both of us to enjoy with or without him and yet we couldn't do anything to save our lives he found it funny that it was like I had to come up with a deal for him I told him since Scrata and I were starting to share a library we started this Final Fantasy series that he wanted us to play Monster Hunters with him next year. Because Monster Hunter, uh, I forgot the sequence to it, but it, it was supposed to be out on Steam sometime next year. And I brought up the fact that we were playing Final Fantasy XV together as a co-op game. He should join in. He claims that he does not like co-op games or uh, MMO sort of ordeal. I said no. This is nothing like that. If you have any questions or any worries, let us know. We'll tell you about it. Well, just like me, Scrata didn't know anything about the game himself. And we were working up on the idea of how to get him into it. In fact, excuse me, there's like 14 other games out there other than 15 that could have caught his attention but he wasn't so into storytelling games that it might not work out for him. He's already have these thoughts about 
not liking the series because of the things that he may be worried about. Now this is where you guys can come in if you're interested. Number one, can you play the co-op game before the storytelling game with Noctis or does that fall in after Noctis' story and otherwise? Because that's one of the things that he was worried about. He did not want to play this game alone at all. In fact, it comes down to having co-op and storytelling diversed, and he doesn't like that. So I'm trying to figure out how to straighten this out for him since we don't know anything much about the game, since we don't have a PlayStation 3 or 4 to try this out. So that would be something to ask the community for. If you guys are interested, please let us know in the comments. The third thing I want to talk about. This is why I haven't been posting on YouTube. We've been raging about games like Dead Space and Dark Souls and so on and so forth that it got so bad that I couldn't list them in the uh, normal listings as I would have for anything else. Believe me, they're up there. They're just unlisted because of the adult content, such as swearing and such. Uh, it got so bad that Scrata and I had enough. I mean, I'm surprised I made it up to so far as, you know, episode 15 or something, but whichever the case, it's up there and I have it unlisted. Reason for that is because kids can get on adults' uh, accounts, their parents' accounts, and view the adulterated content that follows. And that's something I try to avoid having a son myself. I'm more worried along the lines of having uh, my son himself, uh, you know, viewing this stuff and cussing up a storm because of something that he saw on my channel and that's something I want to prevent and I will try so very hard to do so if it means the world to me uh, secondly on that note uh, I've been slapped with so many copyright notices it's not funny number one from Square Enix okay I've been streaming Final Fantasy games on Twitch that I tried to carry them over to YouTube but YouTube wouldn't accept it because three episodes in a row two copyrights for each video copyright claims mind you and I've been trying to figure this out for God knows how long why this keeps happening to me and after I even took them down I get slapped with another one from Portal. Okay, I get that Valve is uncooperative because of their situation right now. But it comes down to this. When will it ever stop? There are so many people who are streaming these games on YouTube right now who are not facing these notices. There is not one video of Final Fantasy that hasn't been on YouTube. There still remains a lot of content, by the way, that I have been noticed about. And yet, I have to be forced to take mine down. So, I have to get a hold of somebody at Square Enix to figure out what I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing something wrong, or how I can fix it, because I can't do this. I swear to God, I am trying. Believe me, I am trying. And it's it goes far as to say that everything this year has been driving me bonkers. I would say something else, but you know. Yeah. And I can't get one word edgewise to fight those um, notices. I can't because it wouldn't make any sense you're fighting against something that has more 
money than you, more power than you, more rights to say about what goes on in that series or not. And I'm not in the mood to argue. Yes, they have that right to say that, but why do, does it have to happen to someone like me? I'm trying to make my channel grow. I'm trying to help them make their money, and yet they nailed me to the wall just like that. It's ridiculous. No one should face something like that unless there was a reason behind it. No one, all right? How far would you go as to say that you yourself put yourself in that position, okay? And tell them that they have no rights to do that. Would you, do you think you would win? No. I mean, I've done this a thousand times with uh, Konami, all right? My friend Solix, my brother from another mother, all right? He, he has helped me put that series out. He has told me what I needed to do, but to do that for Final Fantasy every single freaking minute, it is unbelievable. That would get so annoying so quick, you would be telling me to stop. And that is annoying for me as it annoys you. I'm telling you that right now because I know what's out there. I know what everybody's thinking, especially when it's story driven. And that series is story driven. Trust me. More story driven than so Portal 2 or Portal 1. I'm telling you, it is out there. Okay? People has made movies with that. Cinematics. Okay? And gameplay. How is it that they're not being affected? And I am. I'm not ranting over the fact that it's a whining situation. I'm ranting at the fact that it can't happen to me all the time. Okay? I am, I am trying to get this community to grow. I am trying to, you know, get this community out there to a point where we can help each other. But this... This is unbelievable i feel like this could you know destroy my channel at any given cost okay my friends and i are on the same boat with this idea i mean scrata wouldn't be sharing his library with me if he didn't have complete faith that it would help my channel grow and it will. Eventually, it will. And I know there are some games out there that I haven't finished yet, but I will at some point in time. Just not right away. I know there's a Mega Man series that I want to do that I can't finish because it can't happen right away. I have to have a mood for it. I have to have uh, things lined up for it and push it through. I just don't have that right now. Um, there was a lineup for Zoids, okay? Um, one of my fans took that over. If you can jump over to Die Hard, uh, he'll be commenting below. You'll notice him. Go to his channel, subscribe for him for that, or to him for that, and he'll lead you the way. I gave him my website that helped him go through all this, and I hope he's doing a good job. You better be doing a good job, okay, Die Hard? push on thank you for giving me that comment to push even further so thank you guys for helping me stay on YouTube thank you guys for helping me push even further and believe me I am trying and I hope you guys have a nice day until then I'm King Willix we're gonna figure something out about this content ordeal I promise you even if you had to fight with me on it I promise you'll get out there. Peace out.